The Tesla Cybertruck made quite an impression when it was first revealed in 2019, both on the audience present at the event and the people watching the livestream. The event followed a cyberpunk theme with all the presenters wearing black trench coats. The whole event looked like something out of Matrix or a Blade Runner movie. Elon Musk himself was going for this theme because according to him, cyberpunk movies like Blade Runner were a big inspiration for the Cybertruck. The fully electric truck concept showcased by Elon during the presentation was a bold design. It is two years since the reveal and now Tesla is gearing up to start the mass production of the Cybertruck. They will be using a stainless steel exoskeleton body design for the Cybertruck. So let us take a closer look at Tesla's new $1.9 billion Cybertruck steel factory, which will be providing all that steel to make the Cybertrucks. For those of you unfamiliar with the Tesla Cybertruck, let us go through some of the key details and features about the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck is a fully electric truck that comes in three variants. A single-motor rear-wheel design, a dual-motor all-wheel design, and a tri-motor all-wheel design. The top-tier tri-motor design, according to Tesla, will be able to do 0 to 60 in less than 2.9 seconds. This is less time than a lot of smaller, sportier cars. The tri-motor variant has a towing capacity of 14,000 pounds. This is a lot even by most truck standards. The Cybertruck is designed to seat six people, which is a lot for a truck. Usually, trucks allow four to five people to be seated comfortably. The dashboard comes with a 17-inch touchscreen, and like most Tesla vehicles, this will be the main control station for everything in the Cybertruck, from the air conditioning to the suspension. Speaking of suspension, the Cybertruck will be able to lower or raise the suspension by four inches. The Cybertruck will offer 100 cubic feet of exterior storage and also includes other utilities like onboard power for tools and even an air compressor. It comes with a payload capacity of 3,500 pounds, which again is a lot for a truck. And if this isn't enough to make the perfect pickup truck, the Cybertruck has full bulletproof windows. These were also showcased at the reveal event. Granted, the test didn't go as planned. When Franz von Holshausen, the chief designer at Tesla and the mastermind behind Cybertruck, threw a steel ball at the window and it shattered, which got a few laughs from Elon and the audience at the event. Later, Elon did clarify that the prototype had already gone through a lot of testing before the reveal event, and that must have caused the glass to shatter. But to be fair, the ball didn't go through and Tesla is known to perfect their technology to meet their claims, so we shouldn't worry that much about it. Some of the more automotive fans among you must be wondering, why is Tesla going with a stainless steel body? Usually, automakers prefer to use aluminium to make cars. To be fair, Elon Musk's love for steel is not a secret, as stainless steel is also the material of choice for Elon's Starship project at SpaceX. Elon is also going on a similar route with the Cybertruck, the Cybertruck will be made using the 30X series cold rolled stainless steel. The 300 series steel alloys are made from different combinations of carbon, chromium, nickel, and molybdenum. The steel from the 300 series grade shows impressive corrosion resistance, strength, and high resistance at elevated temperatures. So that means that the Tesla Cybertruck will have a stronger body than other trucks. In fact, Franz von Holshausen took a hammer to the Cybertruck door at the reveal event just to show how strong the stainless steel body of the Cybertruck will be. The 300 series steel also offers high resistance to corrosion, meaning that Cybertruck will not rust that easily. So, what does the cold rolled part mean? The production of cold rolled steel is different from conventional steel. Instead of heating it to high temperatures to make it more malleable, steel is rolled at room temperature. This results in the ability to produce thin, flat sheets of stainless steel. The rollers also reduce the grain size of the metal, making it stronger and giving it a smooth surface. Other advantages of cold rolling include no shrinking or creepage at room temperatures, uniform quality, and the fact that it can be modeled into high-precision parts. But this is a very expensive process and must be perfected before it can be adopted for a street-legal vehicle. Conventionally, other automakers prefer to use aluminium alloys for their vehicle structure. This is because it keeps the frame of the vehicle flexible and light. The stainless steel is combined with an exoskeleton design. This is basically a unibody layout design. The unibody design moves the stress from the frame of the vehicle to the outer skin. Conventionally, other trucks use a body-on-frame architecture, which means that the drivetrain drags the body and the bed. 
This exoskeleton design combined with the simple and sharp design should make the manufacturing process a little bit more streamlined and easier for Tesla. It is rumored that the steel for the Tesla Cybertruck will be supplied by a company called Steel Dynamics Incorporated. The Steel Dynamics plant is located in Sinton, Texas, just only 167 miles away from the Gigafactory, Texas. Gigafactory, Texas will be the Tesla facility producing the Cybertruck, so the close vicinity of the Steel Dynamics plant to the Gigafactory, Texas further solidifies these rumors. This steel plant is estimated to cost $1.7 billion once it is fully completed. This massive plant will reportedly create about 3,000 jobs for the local area, and it is estimated to be far larger than an ExxonMobil plastics plant in the area. Drone footage of this massive steel plant shows that it is still currently under construction, but most of the areas look near completion. A good portion of the area has already been fitted with equipment. The plant site has grown massively since the work began last year in Sinton, and it is expected to begin its operations as early as the end of 2021. Tesla and Steel Dynamics haven't publicly announced a deal or even confirmed that they are working together, but there have been hints thrown around that Steel Dynamics Incorporated will be providing the steel for the Cybertruck. San Patricio County Judge David Krebs in an interview to K3 News said that the $1.7 billion SDI Sinton steel mill will not only be providing numerous good-paying jobs to workers in the areas, it would also be supplying the steel that would be utilized by Tesla to produce the Cybertruck. According to the statement by Kerbs, now some of these other companies who work with SDI will actually be taking SDI's product and refining it a little bit better. We're hearing that one of the companies that we're pretty close to, probably getting close, is a company that's going to be taking SDI steel, redoing it, and that steel will actually be going into the Tesla cars that they're moving in from California to manufacture here. So there is some merit to all the rumors and speculation that Steel Dynamics is in fact the steel provider for the Cybertruck. They will begin their operations at the end of 2021. This looks in time for Tesla's new timeline to start delivering the first batch of Cybertrucks in 2022. So when can people get their hands on the Cybertruck? Initially, Tesla had planned for a 2021 release for the Cybertruck, but now after hinting at a possible delay, Tesla has confirmed that the Cybertruck release is delayed to 2022. Elon Musk did warn that there would be engineering challenges in making the Cybertruck since the design is so unique. The exoskeleton body requires a completely new manufacturing process. On the order page for Tesla, there is also mention of the new timeline, with a disclaimer that production nears in 2022. The coming months will show how near Tesla is to mass production and delivery.